Judges chapter 1. After Joshua died, the Israelites asked the Lord, Which tribe should attack the Canaanites first? The Lord answered, Judah, for I have given them victory over the land. The leaders of Judah said to their relatives from the tribe of Simeon, Join with us to fight against the Canaanites living in the territory allotted to us. Then we will help you conquer your territory. So the men of Simeon went with Judah. When the men of Judah attacked, the Lord gave them victory over the Canaanites and Perizzites, and they killed ten thousand enemy warriors at the town of Bezek. While at Bezek they encountered King Adonai Bezek, and fought against him, and the Canaanites and Perizzites were defeated. Adonai Bezek escaped, but the Israelites soon captured him and cut off his thumbs and big toes. Adonai Bezek said, I once had seventy kings with thumbs and big toes cut off eating scraps from under my table. Now God has paid me back for what I did to them. They took him to Jerusalem, and he died there. The men of Judah attacked Jerusalem and captured it, killing all its people and setting the city on fire. Then they turned south to fight the Canaanites living in the hill country, the Negev, and the western foothills. Judah marched against the Canaanites in Hebron, formerly called Kiriath Arba, defeating the forces of Shishai, Ahiman, and Talmai. From there they marched against the people living in the town of Debir, formerly called Kiriath Sefer. Then Caleb said, I will give my daughter Oksa in marriage to the one who attacks and captures Kiriath Sefer. Othniel, the son of Caleb's younger brother Kenaz, was the one who conquered it, so Aksa became Othniel's wife. When Aksa married Othniel, she urged him to ask her father for an additional field. As she got down off her donkey, Caleb asked her, What is it? What can I do for you? She said, Give me a further blessing. You have been kind enough to give me land in the Negev. Please give me springs as well. So Caleb gave her the upper and lower springs. When the tribe of Judah left Jericho, the Kenites, who were descendants of Moses' father-in-law, traveled with them into the wilderness of Judah. They settled among the people there, near the town of Arad in the Negev. Then Judah joined with Simeon to fight against the Canaanites living in Zephoth, and they completely destroyed the town. So the town was named Horma. In addition, Judah captured the cities of Geza, Ashkelon, and Ekron, along with their surrounding territories. The Lord was with the people of Judah, and they took possession of the hill country. But they failed to drive out the people living in the plains, because the people there had iron chariots. The city of Hebron was given to Caleb, as Moses had promised, and Caleb drove out the people living there who were descendants of the three sons of Anak. The tribe of Benjamin, however, failed to drive out the Jebusites who were living in Jerusalem. So to this day the Jebusites live in Jerusalem among the people of Benjamin. The descendants of Joseph attacked the town of Bethel, and the Lord was with them. They sent spies to Bethel, formerly known as Luz, who confronted a man coming out of the city. They said to him, Show us a way into the city, and we will have mercy on you. So he showed them a way in, and they killed everyone in the city except for this man and his family. Later the man moved to the land of the Hittites, where he built his city. He named the city Luz, and it is known by that name to this day. The tribe of Manasseh failed to drive out the people living in Bethshan, Teanach, Dor, Ibliam, Megiddo, and their surrounding villages, because the Canaanites were determined to stay in that region. When the Israelites grew stronger, they forced the Canaanites to work as slaves, but they never did drive them out of the land. The tribe of Ephraim also failed to drive out the Canaanites living in Giza, and so the Canaanites continued to live there among them. The tribe of Zebulun also failed to drive out the Canaanites living in Kitron and Nahalol, who continued to live among them, but they forced them to work as slaves. The tribe of Asher also failed to drive out the residents of Akko, Sidon, Alab, Akzib, Helba, Aphek, and Rehob. In fact, because they did not drive them out, the Canaanites dominated the land where the people of Asher lived. The tribe of Naphtali also failed to drive out the residents of Beth Shemesh and Beth Anna. Instead, the Canaanites dominated the land where they lived. Nevertheless, the people of Beth Shemesh and Beth Anath were sometimes forced to work as slaves for the people of Naphtali. As for the tribe of Dan, the Amorites forced them into the hill country and would not let them come down into the plains. 
The Amorites were determined to stay in Mount Heres, Aijalon, and Shaalbim. But when the descendants of Joseph became stronger, they forced the Amorites to work as slaves. The boundary of the Amorites ran from Scorpion Pass to Sila and continued upward from there.